Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am back with some more on this little start to finish journal. Um, I would like to say a few things before we get started. Um, inadvertently, I apparently opened a uh, the proverbial can of worms, I guess, um, about, about the name of this journal, which um, I have subsequently changed this to the Start to Finish World Bazaar Journal um, series. So, so hopefully that you know, that quells down any, there's very strong feelings on, on several sides of this. And I do want to say that I totally encourage, you know, discourse and, and, and discussion on my channel as long, and this is important, <laughs> as long as it's kind and respectful. So, um, that, that, that's all I ask. That's all I ask. So um, I want to say bless you to the folks who shared their opinions. Um, everybody's opinion is as important as the next person. And um, so I appreciate that. And I want to especially say bless you to my friends that are my viewers that um, that stood up for me and and let people know that I would never ever intentionally hurt anyone that is just it's just not in my character so um thank you to those who stood up for for that so let's see was there anything else I wanted to say about that um I don't think so so I am going to do my very best to avoid any controversial um, statements and or and or um, and or <laughs> uh, words. Um, I, I, I have to say, though, in my defense, one more thing is that um, I view boho as a style. It's like shabby chic. And to me, boho is bright, it's happy, it's artistic, it's free, um, it's free of constraints, it's, it's a beautiful thing. So just so you know where I was coming from using that word. So anyway, from here on out, this is the World Bazaar. Um, even though I was, I was cautioned that Perhaps, I don't know, there's a store called that. There's no stores called that here. So I'm innocently using two words here. <laughs> oh, man. So anyway, there you go. So let's do hi and hugs and let's get started. Enough of all of that. Uh, hi and hugs to Marsha, to Joshua Ink the Edges, to Inked Pulp, and to Took. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Um, I shall, yeah, so onward and upward. Um, I am having so much fun working on this journal. And, um, and just so you know, don't worry about me as far as any of this goes. I intend to still enjoy my time with this journal because I'm having a good time making it. So I wanted to tell you the papers that I couldn't find, and I think I might have mentioned this in um, an Etsy share video, but I know not all of you watch those. But it's Lucky Star is the name of the Blue Fern um, paper I was looking for and couldn't find it the other day. Um, and I just got a small uh, pack. Uh, what is this, six by six? Yeah, six by six from... Um, journey of crafting on Etsy. So anyway, so I'm all set. I found it. <laughs> We're all good that way. Oh, geez. I know I, it was, it was just buried at the bottom of scrapbook paper. So, okay. So back to this little journal. We did that page last time. And what else did we do? We did this one, which I'm super loving. And I, 
was doing some die cutting and I die cut this little sack. This is also blue ferns paper, but this is, um, I think it's bird waltz is what it is. Um, and I was thinking it might go with this journal, uh, maybe with some of the digital papers. Look at that with the butterflies. Yes, I thought it would. So let's make that up. We'll fuss around with it a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and ink it before I glue it together. So I've been on a die cut kick. Oh my gosh, I've just been, <laughs> been having some fun. And yesterday in the mail, thank you mailman, um, I got a new die cut from Tim Holtz. It's the it's the funky wreaths one. So you'll be seeing those pop up here and there. Um, oh gosh, the back's so pretty too, but we won't we won't do that. Okay. So yeah, as you know, kind of on this journal, we are making ephemera as we go. Pretty much, there's some pre-made over there that I need to get to working with. But I've just been having some fun making things and or just um, embellishing them, you know. Oh, no, 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 Gail. Wrong side. Let's just put this down. <laughs> so, quit your blabbing, Gail. Quit your blabbing. <laughs> it gets you in trouble. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, get that all squashed, squashed down. Then I'm just wondering what we could, what we could do to just fancy that up a little bit um well we could definitely put some shinies down there could put a little tag right there couldn't we Let's see what we might have i need to get some printing done um that'll be actually for another etsy share coming up but I'm also, look at that, afternoon. I like that. Ooh, that's good. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, anyway, I just need to get some time at my computer. But um, I've got to run some errands today. Uh, of my, what do I have? Seven, I think, journals that I made at the retreat and just sold on my Etsy. I think um, three of them were international and for some reason Etsy isn't wanting to um, let me print those. It's just not wanting me to print those on, um, on my printer here. Oh my, I have to take them to the post office. So I'm gonna do that today. That could be fun. Um, ooh. No, I think that's a bit bright, although I have these. It seemed like they'd be about the right size. No, it's the wrong color of pink with the pink I have on there. I have light pink. I don't know. Excuse me. Something is blooming in my area because I've been sneezing and coughing and <laughs> it's, it's just been kind of a something's blooming kind of morning. Let's do, oh, I left my big scissors upstairs again. Doing a little fussy cutting while watching TV last night. So, yeah, I just think... I just think I'm gonna put those on there. The blinger, the better. That's what I say. Excuse me, I just have to grab a Kleenex. I 
I apologize, but you don't want me snuffing through this whole video. <laughs> okay, so we're going to put this on as a tuck spot. Just a little tuck. And then I had an idea of another full page thing that we could do on one of the... Okay, well that's happy. Okay, so let's put it on, shall we? move stuff so I can do it. So I'm just going to put that right there. Very fun. This is, I'm not sure what the um, die is called, but it's a Sizzix die. It's not a Tim Holtz one. It's just, it's just plain Sizzix. Okay. Right there, okay. Um, and it's yeah, it's a sack, and then or this yeah, this little sack, and then it's um, it's got a couple of label dies with it too. I there's one that I really like, and I've used a lot, but not too not too much on the other ones. Okay, so there's that. Then um. I also have this, but I kind of want to do that full page one. So I'm just going to use a different paper. Just talking to myself, talking amongst myself. I'm thinking about perhaps this one with the owl. I do love him. Oh, but I love this one too. I'm just envisioning what this could be. Ooh, this one could be cool in what I'm thinking of. And I have two of those, which I tell you, when it comes to my blue fern, I just am kind of a crazy woman because I just think I need, I just think I need more. <laughs> I think I need to not use it. Heaven forbid I use it. Let me get the branding strip off of here and we're just going to make one of those full page kind of um, pockets. Ooh, look at that branding strip. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so this I want to be probably five inches is what I'm thinking because I want it to fit nicely on the page. Okay, that leaves this pretty piece. Oh gosh, look at that too. I'm telling you, gorgeous papers. Okay, oh, so then... Let's see, where are we going to put this? Let's look at our book for a second. So it's these pages that I kind of want things. So I wonder, yeah, it would look cool there. Okay, cool. I'm going to go right after this twilight. Hmm, we'll see. I didn't want to go seven inches or right after that word. Word's going to be covered up anyway, so it does, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So seven is right there, and that's what I usually do, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and do seven, five by seven. Or do I want it a little? I think I want it a little bigger. If I went right by there, that would be... Eight ish. Let's do, let's do eight ish. Okay. And then we are going to just tear this from one corner to the other. Ah. <laughs> Maybe. 
baby. I can't get it started. Maybe that will help me. Yep. And then see, we're going to put that there. And we're going to put this one. We could put it like that. But I think I want it over here. Like that. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. All right. Oh, don't grab the vintage photo because we're using black soot on this one. And then we can decorate this up a bit. I feel like there might be several, <laughs> several um, ephemera videos of this one because it's we're making a lot of it okay I'm gonna round these top corners just I mean you could do you could do it like a tag too if you wanted but I'm just gonna give it a little Gosh, I woke up at the crack of dawn today, which isn't usual for me, but it's kind of nice because you get quite the jump on the day. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put this here. And if I put a tall tag, maybe, or something. Anyway, that's that's a step down the road. Okay, yes, so. Just going to put this on and put the other one on. And then. Okay. Will be a double pocket, but I think I'll put it on so it can be a pocket this way too behind it, you know. Yeah, so you get quite the jump on the day, but I have errands to run and nothing's open yet. <laughs> so I said to Mike, Well, I'm gonna make a video before we go run our errands because we can't run our errands until things are open. Oh, isn't that fun? Okay. Makes me wonder <clears throat> about these little wonderful things. And my friend Michelle Gregory, she uh, reminded me that she's the one that sent me these little um, fabric clusters. I mean, I could either do that and then do something smaller. I don't know. I think I'll save those. I mean, they would be awesome just on the side of a page, too. So, okay. So, let's think about this. I would kind of like, let's see. I'll just see if I have anything in my fabric uh, snippets that would... Perhaps we have these that are kind of happy wild colors. Um, what's this down here with the sparkles? Oh, that's Christmas one. <laughs> yeah, either this style of journal or Christmas. Either one of those is real is real good for. <laughs> For sparkles and things. These are cool. I think my friend Catherine gave me those. 
Oh, I kind of like how that has black in it. And then we need to just kind of put something in the middle of that. I might put some lace behind it. I don't know. We'll just kind of see where we get to. Let's see. Got a couple of pretty big lace, lace bits here. Kind of wondering about just this. I kind of like that. <laughs> My little teeny snippy scissors. I'll have to remember to get my bigger ones. Oh, whoops. Oops. Okay, I think I kind of want that like that. And then, um, Claudia at Timeless Crochet for You, she reminded me that she sent some, you know, B word flowers me and so I just need to look and see see what I've got here who actually that blue one could be cool except I don't want it to cover up all the black That's pretty cool. I like that. So, yeah, using a flower from Claudia at Timeless Crochet for you. Um, just looking for a second to see. Oh, I don't know. I think I probably mixed them together, Claudia, is what I did. Okay. So, and then we need to make a cool long tag to go with, which the paper might give us something to work with there. Put that there. Grab the spatula here. Okay. You know, it's so crazy because these little bits that my friend Catherine sewed and um, and she gave me and I cut them up into little snippets. I was like, oh, I just, I'm not sure when I'll use those, you know. Well, look at me using them that's that's how it goes though I mean that's how, how we end up with so much stuff because you never know what you're going to need for a particular project okay I'm just going to put that right there okay happy with that then what I was thinking is wondering if, what would that be like? Meh, meh, my grandson says meh. That could be pretty though, huh? I think I'm gonna cut that off and put that in there. So how wide do I want that? Maybe, Gosh, maybe two and a quarter. Okay. We can do two and a quarter. Okay, two. Oh, nope. I went down here, don't I? Two and a quarter. Which chops the butterfly's wing off. I apologize. Oh basically his whole head. 
Whoops. Oh, poor butterfly. Okay, so, but then if we put that in here, won't that be pretty? Just as a tag. So I'm just gonna, just gonna cut and flip here. Snip and flip, as I like to say. Snip and flip this little tag. Okay, and then I don't think I'm going to do anything to it, but perhaps put a label at the bottom because I don't want to cover any of that. It's too beautiful. Be fun to write on this with a white pen down here. You know, like start out in black and then go to white. Wouldn't that be fun? Adventures in journaling. Okay. Let's find. I'm thinking, I don't know what I have printed out though. I have content. Grateful heart, content. Too big. Focus on the good. Ha. Oh. Yeah, that one, maybe. Okay. Focus on the good. That's what we're going to do with this little journal, is we're going to focus on the good, which is that it's bright, it's happy, it's free of constraints. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm just going to snip off the corners over my basket here. Okay. We're going to focus on the good. That's what we're going to do. These labels, by the way, are Pink Monarch prints. And they have been fabulous. I mean, I, I just think it's the size and sort of the neutral nature of them that I have just used them a ton. Okay, so I'm going to put that there. We're going to... We're going to fuss around a little bit with, because this is going to go in here like so. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there, but it might just be like a ticket or something because I don't want to cover up this. But what I do want to do, let me just reach over here and move a couple things so I can get to it. I am going to use a bit of stickles on some things here because there's little stars right here that if I just put a, a titch, which, you know, a titch is less than a smidgen. <laughs> and I'm going to put a good bit right there to make that shiny. Um, to put a dot right there. And I'm looking, I think I have, let's put this is what glisten. I want to do the watch. I'm just deciding which color of stickles. Oh, I think this would be better. Okay, we're going to use goldenrod stickles. And we are just going to kind of go... Oh, goodness. It blopped out a whole bunch of water. I haven't used this one, I don't think. Okay, that was crazy. A little glob of water came out. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Okay. 
just going real thin down this chain. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know if it shows up on camera or not. Go a little thicker around the... What do you call this part of the watch? I don't know. And then I'll just kind of color in with it here. I don't want to cover. I just want to add some shimmer. Ooh, that was a glob. Just draw that down. Yeah. This is what we want. We're not going to do where it's black. I'm just going to stop there. I do it this teeny bit on the edge go okay I'm liking that I'm liking that so what do I have oh I do I have some silver that I could do up here because why not when I start doing something like this I tend to go a little crazy with it oh yeah but that looks so cool Oh, you guys, I had the funniest dream last night. I have to tell you while I'm doing this. Oh, my gosh. So I dreamed I was at a meeting with women. And it may have been a retreat. But it was in the thrift store. <laughs> and we were, we were going to sleep there. And we were all so excited because we had all the treasures that the thrift store had to offer right at our fingertips. <laughs> oh, it was a weird dream. But I, wo I woke up from, I, it was this morning, and I woke up from it, and I just had to have a giggle because I'm like, oh my gosh, Gail. Yeah. Okay, that's fun. I want to do some on the some of the flowers here too. Um, so I have a what's this sorbet? It's kind of a bright pink. Let's see how it looks on. Now we'll hope it doesn't squirt out water because I haven't used this one either. <laughs> Did squirted out water. I don't know where it went. Okay. <laughs> Weird. Okay, so let's see. I don't know. I think we need this flower. Yeah. Just going to color it a little bit. Put a couple dots here and here. And then just smoosh some around here. This one's kind of hard to hard to squeeze out for some reason. This one I'm just gonna if this will cooperate, I want to just do kind of lines on the flower. Just don't want it to glop out, you know? Sorry, got quiet. Concentrating, I guess. Okay, so there's that, and then um, I've got 
got this, which is called Pink Taffeta, that might be better on these um, pink or more pinky flowers. I'm just going to bring that up slightly. Oh my gosh, Gail, when are you going to learn? Third time. Third time we spit out water. Okay. Jeez. Yeah, it takes me a while, apparently. Oh my gosh, that's just really watery. Okay, and maybe a little bit here. Here. So the saga of the nighttime banging. <laughs> um, that is just keeping my husband and I awake continues. It was doing it last night too. And now I don't think that it's related to the wind. Because um, we had some good wind gusts. We had the windows open. We had some good wind gusts last night. And it wouldn't happen. But then just randomly, there's this, it's, it's kind of like a clang. It's like a metal hitting metal kind of. I have no clue what it is or where it's coming from. But it's kind of driving us nuts. Okay. Because it wakes us up, you know? Who wants to be woken up in the middle of the night? Okay. Um, there are some yellow dots here and there. And I think I'm going to put some of this. On them. And there's some on here. Okay. And I might just put a little bit on this flower. A couple places. It's just for accent. Outline it, I guess. Okay, I shall quit with my dabbling here and dabbling there. Although I'm thinking these leaves need something <laughs> now that I say that. Um, I don't have any purple stickles. It look weird to put this on. I could always wipe it off. It's just let's just give that a little dimension. There we go. Okay, now I'm done. And I think um I think, as I said, I'll just put a little ticket of some sort in there. Um, do we have anything like that from the kit? And I was going to remind you if I can find it. Here it is. The name of this kit is Shabby Beeward. It's from Took's Craft Table. And I hope Took doesn't get in trouble for the name. <laughs> oh, if so, I'm sorry I brought it up, Took. <laughs> Let's see. Um, there's not any... I can put that in there 
and I think it'll go to the bottom and won't cover up the clock. So let's just let's just give this a backing and fuss around with it a bit. Let's see, what do I have? I should have, oops, just flipped it, flipped it everywhere. I was thinking I should have something to back it with in here. What do I have? Got some. Too, too tiny, too tiny, too tiny. Okay, we'll use this. And back that up. Nope, won't go that way. Has to go this way. Okay. No big deal there. There's my blue page. Better check the time too. I'm having so much fun just kind of doing a little of this and a little of that. that'll give that a little more weight too which is a good thing because it's just on my it's just on the light paper okay about 20 minutes not quite okay it's so about quarter after which is great because now our errand places will be open <laughs> I normally don't have that problem I usually sleep later but was just one of those mornings. Had to give Mike a haircut. Did that already this morning. You do get a lot more done when you get up early. I will give you that. But I don't like it. <laughs> I don't want to make a habit of it. <laughs> um, okay. And then we'll give that a little black distress ink around the edges. This is kind of needing to dry too. It feels wet. Okay. And I think I'm going to leave that just as it is. And that will go in this pocket right, in this pocket back here. Okay, so we need to set that aside and let it dry. Let's see, I'm gonna put it over on this table. But that's gonna be super pretty on that page, I think. Okay, so let's look in our basket and see what else we have that might be, this is so pretty, this could be, this is made by Frida, Rustic Prairie Gems. I could, that could be a full page thing. Okay, nothing else is particular. Oh, I guess a belly band would be. There's not really a reason. I just want to cover up these. They're such big pages. I don't know. I'm just like, I love that. So, let's go to the other side of this. Ooh, this would go cool there, wouldn't it? So, then we have to ask ourselves. I mean, it's kind of a journaling card because she's stenciled on the back, but I think I want to make it a pocket. And I think I want to make it a pocket up at the top. Okay. So, we're going to... We're going to know, maybe I should put a little paper clip on this one to remind myself this is where that other one's going once it's dry. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and distress this around the edges with the black. Just give that a little gives it a nice frame
Okay. Now, do I want it to have a side card? I think I do. Okay, so I'm gonna just go around here. Thank you, Frida. You know I love everything you do. Rustic Prairie Gems. See, and then what I'm thinking is with the cards that I put in here, I can put some fun um, dangles or something on them. Okay, so that's going to be on that side with something over here. Um, so we could do a little stenciling up there, perhaps. And I want to put something right here. Um, do I want a label? Do I? reach my labels and see if there's something that grabs my attention over there. Um, I was thinking maybe I don't think that will cover that whole word. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm going to use this one. It kind of, um, what would you say? It sort of mimics the the mask on the other side. Okay. Let's see here. And I think I'll just leave it empty of, you know, stamping anything in there or anything. Because then whoever has the journal can write something there if they want to. I think it goes this way. Okay. Teeny little corner. <laughs> it's so funny using the full piece labels to see where it ends up. Okay. Oh, I like how this is kind of the same color as that really like that. I think I'll stencil something there though. Um, let me, let me have a look, see here. Ooh, that would be good. Here is, this is a Kathy Holden inspired barn. This one is it's called Cathedral, but I'm thinking about having it go sideways, like, like so. Yeah, I think so. Um, oh, I have one second. Let me look at my brushes here. I think I particularly have one for black, but we'll go ahead and make one. How about? So. Maybe I'll do 
just going to go to the edge of that. Very sooty, very sooty. Let's just see how this turns out. I'm kind of excited to see. Hope it's okay. I guess we can always put a colorful piece of paper up there if it's not good. Oh, it is, it's not good. It's great. I love it. Okay. Cool. That's now my, now my black brush. Okay, dokie. Then that's ready. Let's see how we do when we're doing good. Um, do we Let's see how you're doing? Still very wet. Still very wet. That's not going to get put on today. Um, but I love this. I love this spread. Okay. Super happy there. So we have this here. What would we want to do over there? I feel like it needs pink and blue. Hmm. I'm just looking looking aside here. See, I could have put one of these above that page too. I could have put one of these above there, but I really like how that turned out. So that's all good. Oh, I was talking belly band, wasn't I? Thank you, whoever said that. Let's see. This is not a belly band. See, and I don't know that any of these are going to be... Oh, that one would go... That one goes great, doesn't it? Okay. Cool. I'll put those in the back because I doubt we use them. Okay. But I feel like this needs a little zippity doo -dah. I think I just got black on that. Nope. That's just how it is. Okay. Yeah, this needs a little... A little more bling. I think, do I have, I'm just going to look and see if I have, let me get this up here so you can look too. These are from the Snippet Shop. I was just wondering if there was one I could put down the side. I mean, this is the closest to what I'm thinking. Oh, how about this? Or this? <laughs> we'll check them out. I was just thinking of putting, you know, some fun. Maybe I put this down this way. Ooh, that's nice, isn't it? I think this is too thick. This is that's too much. Too much. Even bright and happy, you can go overboard. So, okay, let's get this onto here. I'm just going to move the book for a moment. Okay. Let's, yeah, let's put this on there. Ooh, that's kind of frayed, so... We'll have to put a little fabric tack on this so it doesn't fray too much. Okay. Okay. Um, get a 
page to glue on so that I don't make hopefully too big a mess. This will be great. We'll we'll get this put on and then we'll we'll call call it a call it a video. Let's see. This is part three, I do believe. So more to go. I find these series are usually at least seven parts, if not if not more. Perfect right there. Okay. Now what I want to do is just put a little bit of glue just on the edge of these of this design just so that it doesn't unravel. Like a little bit right there, a little bit right there, and this end. Okay, and then, let's see how we do on the page. Ugh. Make sure I'm not setting this in anything. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put Fabri-Tac on this. This cardstock that this belly band's made out of is kind of shiny. So, just wanna make sure we stick. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball centering it on the page and up and down. I think that looks pretty good. Ooh, I wish I had some clamps. I need clamps, guys. Shoot. Straight. Pretty good. Okay. That's good. And then I want to put some bling. Do I maybe want that pink? I want to put bling right there. Yeah. Just, I'm going to put that actually on that lace so gosh I'm so sticky <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be sticking when I go do my errands aren't I we'll put that on and then this can dry as well There we go. Okay. Awesome. Well, we got a little bit accomplished, a few pages in this. Um, I'll show you this again. So, that with all of its shininess, so fun. So that's going to be on a page. Now we've got this on this page. Is that all we did? I guess that's all we did. Oh, and then this page, which I am crazy about. So, so thanks everybody so much for watching. Um, have a grateful day and we will just see you in the next video. Bye everybody.